Morning Show. All right, Rick's Around the Morning Show, 26 minutes after the hour. I got your front page right here. Special K, good morning. Good morning, and here is your front page news. Got an ex-officer in Louisville, Kentucky, who was in federal court yesterday, where she pleaded guilty to misleading the judge who authorized the raid of Breonna Taylor's apartment. Now, the former detective admitted to falsifying the search warrant and coming up with a fake story to tell to investigators about that botched raid that led to Brianna's unfortunate death. So listen up. If you have a student loan, Biden, President Biden will make a major announcement on that student loan relief today. So check your balance because it may have already been reduced. Biden is considering wiping out $10,000 of student loan debt for people earning less than $125,000 a year. And he's going to extend the freeze on loan payments for another four months. Uh, by the way, this is the sixth time that a pause on payments has been granted. Now, in other news from around the world, today is Ukrainian Independence Day, and this is exactly six months since the war started with Russia. And the United States is about to give Ukraine another three billion dollars in military aid and political news. Democrats in Florida chose Representative Charlie Crist, who's actually the former Republican governor, but he's now a Democrat. And he's going to be challenging Governor Ron DeSantis. This is going to be one of the most closely watched races in November. Most people think DeSantis has his eyes set on running for president. Uh, He's been catering to the far right and has become known nationally for his so-called war against the woke. That means people who support black and LGBTQ causes, in case you was confused. And congratulations to Val Demings, who we all support. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we want to we want to make she won her Democratic Senate nomination in Florida in the primary. She's going to be going up against Republican Senator Marco Rubio this fall. So Florida, get up and get out and vote. Now, uh, Rock T's took it, had to take his baby to school this morning. So I got the sports news or Rick, do you want to do it? No, go ahead, Mike. OK, here we go. Kevin Durant. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it's, you're doing terrible. So keep going. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? Wow. Wait a minute. Super really? Day. Wow. Super Dave, don't don't jump in on this. I agree. We about to, I agree. Super Dave wow. agrees. Okay, we about to. Oh. You know what? Kevin Durant, NBA news. Kevin Durant is staying with the Brooklyn Nets after asking to be traded. Okay? And Alabama head coach Nick Saban, he getting a new eight-year contract worth at least what? What? Three point six million. That's right, ninety three point six million. Just sound like somebody read me a bedtime story before I go to bed. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? There's this little thing called feelings. I have. Them. Hurry and pick up your I have feelings. <laughs> feelings. I don't have to take this. You need to hurry and pick up your. <laughs> <laughs> Please pass the ball. Man. I, don't even, I don't even have to finish this. <laughs> Brett got the hot spot right now. <sighs> I did a great job. I could fill in for Don Lemon. That was that was beautiful. That was. <laughs> that was great. People on my Instagram live are saying I'm doing a fantastic oh, job. Oh man, <laughs> they gaslight you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I read what I'm. I'm just reading what was sent to me. It ain't like I sat down and wrote. It. Oh, read it. I read it just fine. I want to hear one of y'all do the damn news. Oh man. Okay, so we know we're going to be doing it tomorrow. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everybody. I'm your girl, Brad's Hats Hat, and this is the hot spot where we bring you music, movies, and more. Mm -hmm. So let's get off into it. Yes, y'all, it looks like the arrests of Atlanta rappers Young Thug and Gunna are influencing politics. According to reports, the state of California recently voted to approve a bill that would prevent prosecutors from using rap lyrics as criminal evidence. The bill, named AB 2799, was reportedly unanimously voted by approval for California Senate this past Monday and subsequently approved by the state's assembly. Now, supporters of the rap lyrics on trial bills believe that the use of lyrics as criminal evidence disproportionately targets black musicians. Many 
many argue that black artists often tell stories of experiences that may not be their own and shouldn't be punished for their style of artistry. Now, as far as AB 2799 goes, reports state the bill will create presumption against the use of any creative expression as evidence, meaning not an outright ban, but a hurdle for prosecutors to overcome. Now, I am a witness to this. This happened to me in my little trial. They put, they, woo, they put up a song I did years ago and said I talked about it before I committed my crime. Mm. And it was like, really? And they made me read the lyrics in front of the jury. <laughs> and I had a lily white jury and they already was looking at me sideways. You tried to read and it as nice definitely and definitely put the nail yeah. in the coffin. Okay? Oh, <laughs> it was horrible. I was like, this has nothing to do and and trying to read it and trying to read it proper. Like, I'll hit that chick with a bottle. <laughs> I'll leave her leaking blood like it's the monthly, the time of the month. Like, yeah, it was horrible. It was horrible. I could not believe they had me do that, but they did, and they definitely used it against me. And all those white people were cringing. Really? No, no, they didn't, because back then it was okay to do. This bill wasn't out yet, so I'm happy about this bill because that's not fair because we as artists, we do write songs that may not have anything to do with us. And at that particular time, that song had nothing to do with my life at all. <laughs> so mm. it was crazy. So I can appreciate this bill because these people that try to go against you and put the coffin, put you in the coffin, they, they will use it. They will pull up anything you say from any part of your life. So goodness, I'm happy about this bill. All right, y'all, last but not least, Anne Hacious, uh, her death certificate shows that the volcano actress was cremated on Thursday and that she will be buried at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Los Angeles. A statement written on behalf of her 20-year-old son, Homer, reads, My brother Atlas and I want to thank Tyler, Noel, and all the amazing people at Hollywood Forever for their kindness, compassion, and generosity of spirit. We are convinced our mom would love the site we have chosen for her. It's beautiful, serene, and she will be among her Hollywood peers. She was our mom, but the kindness and the outpouring of the past few days reminded us that she is also she also belongs to her fans the entertainment community and now to the ages so r.i.p to ann hayes she will be missed and definitely remembered all right y'all we're gonna wrap up the hot spot on that note but coming up next we got the yes sir yeah, yeah that that was wonderful brad that was that was really good and i support you in that thank you even though i don't get the same support in return but i do want to say that the ricky smiley morning show does not explicitly support or endorse any particular particular political candidate but we do encourage you to go out and vote Uh, all right uh, i had to clear that up it had to be cleared up it had to be cleared up well thank you for your compliment to me and Oh, yeah. But you did a great job, I, 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 and I support you. I appreciate that. I would appreciate and that support, same support in return. I, but see, when you say that, then I want to support you back. Because you ain't going to tell me to support you now. I just That's asked for it. I just do. asked for it. I just no. asked for it, you damn it. Because I didn't ask to read the damn news. Was, it was on First the of all. Of my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good show. Thank you. <laughs> Deuces. Okay. Okay, good.